Hey guys, long time no see. Um, I got a package in from Brian H26. Second one he sent me, so I don't know what he's thinking. And then I got one PC card in and a Majestic group ring. So we'll get into Brian's package here. Just cut it open. I haven't looked inside yet. Looks like there's four stacks of cards. Let's see. That says, ooh, that says last. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate it, Brian. Whatever's in here. It looks like, ooh, it looks like there's some Marino action. So we'll start with the Ronnie Brown on top. I always like Ronnie Brown. Let's see. This is the 2005 Tops. Football, it's just the 50 years. It's uh -huh. so just the top rookie card of Ronnie Brown. Very nice. Ah, uh, Mark Duper from Pro Set. Super Duper. Oh, we got the Mark's brothers here. Mark Clayton from Score. Very nice. Ah, uh, some fat guy mojo here from. Uh, 90 Pro Set, Keith Sims, awesome guard, followed by an awesome left tackle, Richmond Webb. Both these guys could pass block, I'll tell you. Run blockers, but they could pass block. And then also from Pro Set, Larry Zonka, Super Bowl MVP. Very nice. And then NFL Newsreel. It's got Marino and Marcus Allen on it. Very nice. It's old pro set action there. That was pretty sweet. All right. The next one. I love going through like Marino inserts and stuff. And then I got some fat guy mojo with Richmond Webb and Keith Sims. What is this? Pinnacle Express, 97. Pursuit of Pay Dirt. I know for a fact I don't have that. Very nice. Another Pinnacle Express. This is actually the checklist with Marino on it. Very nice. And then this is the actual base. So look at that. You got a Pinnacle Express rainbow action here. And then the Peak Performer Pinnacle Express. I forgot to tell you the year. What's the year? Oh, yeah, 97. Peak Performance. Yeah, so like I said, I got like all the Pinnacle Express. Let me see. I don't know if that's... I think it's just another Peak Performance. I'm seeing if there's like any difference. No, I think this is just a dupe. Another Peak Performance. And then, ah, from old tops. What designs this? 90. 90 tops, Mr. Marino. Very nice. And another Marino. Ba boom. And then, from this year's contenders draft picks in the old pit uniform. Well, that stud. And then, 16 classics. Marino. I'm trying to think, is the black back something? I know they have different backs, so I forget. Uh, 17 classics came out. I think 16 has a little better content than 17, from what I could tell. And then 16 classics, Bob Greasy. All right, we still got a couple stacks to go here. Ninety-one score. Marino times two from ninety-one score. This is the base. We choose that in front of them. Yeah, that's a weird picture to choose with big number thirty-three in front of them. I don't remember who that is. Times two. Did you find all these like the card shop or something? Where are you finding all these? 1989 Pro Set. Marino. Ah, uh, 
Good old Freddie Solomon. That's cool. That's very nice. Freddie Solomon, 1976 tops. That's really awesome. I like that. And oh, vintage Bob Greasy here from 80. Look at him. Stud. And then 91 upper deck team MVP. And the collector's choice. I always like the paint look. And 91 upper deck, I think this is just the regular base. Mr. Marino. Times. Deuce. All right, very nice. Got some vintage in that one. So let's see, we got one last one here. Last. What have we got in the sports world? Oh, we got hockey, which first two games of the Stanley Cup disappointing me. <laughs> I was rooting for the Preds, obviously. That ain't looking good now. Well, they've played well like two periods of each game, but they keep giving up like three goals in a period, and it's costing them. Ah, uh, so depressing here. A lost draft pick. Now watch, he'll go to Seattle and become a Pro Bowler or something. Number to 199 at a certified Deion Jordan. What a waste. Jeff Fuller. This is from Bowman Signatures. Ah, uh, I'm pretty certain I don't have an autograph of this guy. 2001 Contenders. Travis Miner. That's pretty cool, actually. Didn't do a whole lot in the NFL, but had a really good college career. Travis Miner. Don't think I've ever seen a Travis Miner autograph. Oh, nice. I think this is like my third Channing Crowder now. You guys have been hooking up the Channing Crowder PC. Number to 1,500 out of... 2005 Tops Pristine. Mr. Crowder. Like I said, I always liked him. And oh, sweet. Big Laramie Tunzel. He hardly has anything, sadly. To 199 Like, he has like a playbook, booklet auto, but I don't really like the look of it. And then I think he has a gala one, but it never pops up. And when it does, people put like a $100 buy it now on it. So, very nice. Big Laramie Tunzel. And then, oh, Leontay Carew from Contenders Draft Picks. Rumor is they're not impressed. <laughs> so, hopefully, again, it's still early. Sometimes it takes receivers three, four years, but. Yeah, so far, I guess the Dolphins are not impressed with him trading up for Leontay Carew. Oh, this is very nice. Last card here from Optic. These are the best cards from Optic right here. They're the on card. This is like, looks like the bronze version. It's not numbered, but on card of Kenyon Drake, who definitely has showed some explosiveness. Very nice autograph, too. Look at that. That's clean. That's actually a very sharp looking card. This is the only thing Optic has over Prism is these uh, rated rookie on cards. Everything else I'd rather have Prism for sure. But this is the one thing Optic does better than Prism. Because you got these. So Brian, really appreciate it man. Lots of neat stuff in there. Got some vintage. Got some old school. I got a Travis Minor, which I'm pretty sure I don't have anything Travis Minor. It's more Channing Crowder, so very nice. So I'll have his link below, Brian H26. Definitely go check him out. Uh, Jameis Winston, contenders, hit him up. 
So that's all I got with that package. And I got one more that I hit in a group break. I posted the cowboy stuff I hit in a break. I like, killed it with the cowboys. I hit like eight cards. And then I did well with the Steelers too. I don't think I posted those. But I also bought the Dolphins and hit this very nice. Not Merino level. It's not crazy, but I freaking love it. I love this design. It's kind of... Uh, you remember the Topps Diamond in 15? Where it kind of had that background it's a different surface but it kind of reminds me of that in a way but it's 34 49 bob greasy with gold ink tell me that's not pretty badass i like that design i think marino also has one of these but big bold signature, it just pops. I like it. Sometimes I'm not a fan of like the black and white or the you kind of fade the players out like that. But this one works. I like it. Thirty four forty nine. So that was actually a nice PC hit. I really enjoyed that. So uh, majestic. Um, you get one on card a box, so either this or you get like uh, Regal Runners or Award Winners. I think those are pretty much the three you get. You get one on card a box. It's not a bad product. There's some actually uh, neat names you don't see in every product, which is good. The problem is, is for some reason it came out at three seventy five, which is. Uh, literally $150 more than it should be. Easy. It should be $200, $225, and it's be a real fun product to rip. It's actually a decent product. But the reason why uh probably hasn't got a lot of hype and been tough fill for group breakers at $375, there just isn't enough. Uh, isn't quite enough there to justify that price. But it's actually a pretty nice product. I actually kind of like it. Like I said, especially the on-card stuff is very nice. But, uh, yeah, definitely not like most things around anymore. Just not priced correctly. But that's a very sharp-looking card. I highly recommend picking up, like I said, there's a Regal Runners for the running backs and stuff. So I highly recommend one of those. They do look better in person even than on camera. So if you see a player you like in there, I highly recommend picking one of those up. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I got. NBA Finals starts tonight. If it goes seven games, it lasts, what, 19 days? I, so stupid. Just play every other night all the way through. I don't get it. But, all right, that's all I got, folks. Thanks for checking it out. I got a lot of videos to catch up on. Work's been kicking me in the rear lately. So hopefully I can get caught up on some videos today. But, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, folks.